Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ALV by object oriented programming. And we all know ALV is always two step process. We need to create a field catalog. We need to bind the data with the field catalog. We can create field catalog manually also. We can create field catalog by SAP function module also. During traditional ALV, same to same thing we did. At that time, we have the function module reuse ALV field catalog merge. Now, next thing. Many people ask, yes, we have two steps. We are creating a field catalog. We are binding data with field catalog. During traditional ALV, how you bind the data with field catalog? Using the function module reuse ALV list display and reuse ALV grid display. At that time, we used these function modules. During ALV by OOPS concepts, yes, we are using set table for first display method and we are binding that data with the field catalog. Now, so many people ask, can we merge these two steps into one? During traditional ALV also, I covered this topic. We can combine the two steps into one. It means there is no need for a separate step to create the field catalog with the help of one step itself. You can do both the things. If I will show you traditional ALV. This is reuse ALV list display. With the help of this function module itself, we created the field catalog and we binded the data with the field catalog. And you at that time also, I put so much stress. If you are combining both steps into one, you do not have a flexibility at all. All flexibility gone at that point of time because your program is not able to accommodate the future changes. Suppose simple example. You are not going for separate field catalog. You do not have a separate step of field catalog. You are going for field catalog and data with the help of one step itself. Just think, if customer in the future saying, I want to go for this particular label. I want to go for this particular position. Suppose forget about this. If customer is saying, I want hotspot. I want editable. My question is, there is no separate step of field catalog. How you will set the properties of the column so yes, if you think, no, this is the scope of the program, no further changes will come into this program. Customer will never ask for any hotspot, no edit table, no checkbox, no position, no field catalog changes, nothing at all. If no field catalog changes are coming, no problem. You can simply, simply combine the two steps into one, but yes, at that time, your flexibility is completely gone. We should think from future perspective also. So always it is recommended. It is always recommended. Go for separate step of field catalog and binding that data with the field catalog. If in the future, some changes are coming into field catalog, it is very easy. You can simply write do the changes into this code. And after that, you are binding. But if you do not have a step at all for the field catalog, you do not have a separate step, how you will accommodate those changes. But still, I will show you why I will show you because we have sometimes no further changes are there. We only want a simple ALV to display that data. Then at that time, there is no need of separate step of field catalog. Suppose. As of now, I will comment this field catalog logic. We are not going for separate field catalog. There is no field catalog internal table. We are not filling field catalog internal table. 
So we commented manual also. Then we commented this SAP function module logic also. Now, now I will simply simply call this particular method because I removed the parameters and when I did this, when I called previously, now I will show you by calling again so that I can get this particular parameter structure. I will go to pattern. A BAP object patterns. What is the instance name? LO underscore grid. What is the class? CLGUI ALB grid and what is the method set table for first display? I will use that method. This is our method set table for first display. I will go for OK. And now you can understand why I called and show you again. Because previously we are not using these things. So I removed yes. Because now we need to pass the structure. When you need to pass the structure. So I called again. I will uncomment exporting. In front of structure name, I will pass the name of the structure which we created. This is our structure. Now our data is in LD underscore file. I will uncomment the exceptions. Then I will comment this because I already called now. So I will comment this. So have you seen? We do not, we are not passing field catalog internal table. Previously, you created the field catalog and you pass that internal table. This data will bind with this particular field catalog. Now we are not going for separate step. So we are not going for field catalog internal table. We are saying SAP to create the field catalog and bind that data. One and one with the help of this method itself, we are doing both the things. During traditional ALB also, we did same to same thing. We pass the structure. And this data will bind with this particular field catalog, which SAP generates. But never tell in any interview that ALV creation is one step process. ALV creation is two step process only. We can merge those things. Yes. So if I will show you the output, I will check the syntax. And this is the query which so many people ask. Why, why we are going for a separate step of field catalog? If this is good doing everything, if you are using this one step to do everything, your flexibility completely gone. Have you seen? We have same to same output. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are covering, can we merge the two steps into one? Yes, we can merge the two steps into one. There is no need for two. There is no need for a separate step of field catalog. If you think there are no further changes in the field catalog, scope of the ALB is done. There is no further changes in the field catalog. But that is never possible. In the future, customer might ask for so many things. Customer might ask for hotspot. Customer might ask for your editable checkbox. Customer might ask to change the labels position. At that time, if you do not have a separate step of field catalog, if you are not going for manual or SAP function module, can you accommodate those changes? You will not be able to accommodate those changes. Ultimately, you need to again make a separate step of field catalog you will get the field catalog internal table and you will pass that. So just think you can merge, but at that time, there is no flexibility for the upcoming changes or future changes to accommodate in the report. So that's it in this particular field. Thank you.